From the dream of establishing hip-hop in Korea to becoming one of the most important names in the scene. This is a true started from the bottom now we hear story which proves that hard work always pays off. This is the evolution of the quiet. What's up everybody and welcome to the Evolution Off where we talk about your favorite Korean hip-hop artists, where they started and where they are now. I am Nick and today we're gonna talk about one of the most influential Korean hip-hop artists of the entire scene, The Quiet. But before we dive right into the video, make sure to leave us a like, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss out on any future Korean hip-hop content we got in store for you. Also tell us in the comments down below who you want to know more about. So without further ado, let's go! In the last episode we talked about Jay Park. If Jay helped Korean hip-hop to become more global, then The Quiet is the man who structured, shaped and helped to build the industry up to what it is today. The Quiet was born as Shin Tung Gap in Kwangmyong, South Korea. While many artists these days were born with a silver spoon in their mouths, The Quiet recalls his childhood as being pretty average. In the early 90s, he and his family lived in one of the poorest neighborhoods of Kwangmyong. These 10 years of growing up there had a huge impact on him and his lyrics. Puff Daddy's album No Way Out was what started it all and led to hip-hop becoming a safe haven to him. He would listen to CDs of Tupac and B getting the lyrics of his favorite songs from online bulletins with his friends. His artist name The Quiet was also drawn from music. Mob Deep's album titled Quiet Storm was the inspiration for it. By the age of 17, The Quiet started to make his own music and created the group Dust to Dust with his online friends. When he started out back in the 2000s, Hong, the artistic neighborhood in Seoul, was the center of music culture, hip-hop being part of it. There he performed in small venues such as V Hall, Rolling Hall or Spot. The rapper has never forgotten where his journey began and Hongda still holds a special place in his heart. But for now, let's continue with the 2000s. The year 2003 marks the moment that The Quiet got involved into the underground hip-hop scene. He used to perform regularly at the Haja Center, which is a youth learning space operated by Yonsei University. MC Meda, another underground hip-hop godfather, held seminars there offering workshops for the youth and young professionals. Before he went on to pursue music as his main goal, The Quiet started studying at the Department of Journalism and Broadcasted in Sang Kong-hye University in 2004. However, his path changed the very same year when he, Kiwi, Jerry K and several other rappers founded the independent hip-hop record label and management Soul Company, which was the first independent hip-hop label that made it somewhat big in Korea. Before founding the label, The Quiet and Jerry K went on a trip to Tokyo where hip-hop was booming at the time. Having been a hip-hop enthusiast ever since his childhood, The Quiet got inspired by the countless record stores and the local streetwear, making it his quest to find a way to make hip-hop flourish in Korea. And thus, history started writing itself. The Quiet released his first solo album, Music, in 2005, a year after So Company was founded. Though it is only his debut album, it is considered as one of his best works. The song Sangja Sok Choimen, which features Palo Alto, is considered a masterpiece in the hip-hop community. 2005 also marks the year when The Quiet met Doki. The meeting will later on lead to the birth of the most iconic label in the scene, but we'll talk about that later. After releasing his second album Q Train, which won the 4th Korean Music Awards as Hip Hop Album of the Year, the rapper went full collaboration mode. He formed the duo P and Q with Palo Alto and the two released the album Supremacy. The Quiet also released the album 246 with Make Sense later that year. Taking a break doesn't seem to be part of The Quiet's vocabulary though. In 2007, his third studio album The Real Me followed, not only reaching over 7,000 sales, but also getting the gold status, which only consolidates his reputation as one of the most popular independent rappers in Korea. He worked on Black Happiness together with Yoon Mide and 845 Heaven with Drunken Tiger, beginning to establish himself as a well-known producer in the scene. After his fourth studio album Quiet Storm, a night record, in March 2010, Soul Company ceased its operation in December of the same year. The news was announced with the release of the label's collaborative album titled Still a Team. The era ended with a farewell concert. But as we all know, if one door closes, another one opens. In 2011, The Quiet got together with Doki. Not only did the two become an iconic and seemingly inseparable duo, but they also established their very own label, Illuna Records. Later that year, the duo would expand to a trio, signing rapper Pensino as well. By founding their own label, Doki and The Quiet regained a sense of liberty and autonomy, which isn't given when signing to big established labels. It also gave them the creative freedom to fulfill their own visions. Whereas most big record labels in Korea are focused on K-pop, the two rappers align their music with American hip-hop both in sound and visuals. Nobody has ever flaunted a lavish lifestyle with big cars, Rolex watches and money in the Korean hip-hop scene before them. 
The lyrics focused on the lifestyle of the rich and the famous, which meant that the quiet did a full 180 with his songwriting. When the rapper started out, he was known for his sentimental and emotional lyrics. The shift supported his and Doki's vision of showing realness as being successful self-made artists through their music and showing that there was money to be made through music. In his 2013 released mixtape called Ambition, all 11 tracks in it revolve around the same topics, ambition and success. In 2014, Ilione Records' first collaboration album, 1111, was released. That same year, The Quiet and Doki appeared as producers on Mnet's Show Me The Money 3 and won the season with Icons rapper Bobby. The Quiet reappeared on Show Me The Money in 2015 for the fifth season and later for the seventh, eighth and ninth season as well. Later on, he also became a judge for the first, third and fourth season of High School Rapper. In 2016, after the elimination of Show Me The Money contestant Kim Hyun, The Quiet and Doki founded their second label, Ambition Music. The two rappers were inspired by his talent and didn't want it to go to waste. Kim Hyun was the starting point of the new label. Soon Changmo also joined the label, being an artist who was doing fairly well on his own. Hef Swan was suggested by Kim Hyun and Changmo catching The Quiet's eye during Show Me The Money 3. Other young artists such as Wade Chet, Ash Island and Zine the Zilla followed and joined the label shortly after. While Illionaire Records functioned as a team consisting of Doki, The Quiet and Benzino, Ambition Music was thought of being a label with more creative freedom. The Quiet dropped its fifth and sixth album One Life to Live and Millionaire Poetry which came out in 2015 and 2017 respectively. While The Quiet is known for having a huge impact on the Korean hip-hop scene and being an established household name, the rapper is also known as a mentor figure for undiscovered young artists. Beside music production, mixing and mastering, starting from 2018, he has also ventured into producing events that aim to support independent underground artists. With monthly held concerts that feature different artists, The Quiet gave life to Rap House concerts that offered the stage to a more or less unusual lineup, which consisted both of rookies and veterans. All the artists performing are handpicked by The Quiet himself. The events took place in Hongda, since this is the place where The Quiet's and many other artists' careers started. The first show featured artists like Myondo, Fana, Jamez, Uneducated Kid and Byungon of Bombing Tiger. In 2020, Ilyuna Records announced that they are now defunct via their official social media accounts. The decision was made after co-founder Doki left the label in February 2019. Though the closing of Ilyuna Records marks the end of yet another era, it is also the beginning of a new era not only for The Quiet but also of Doki and Benzino. The Quiet established yet another label with Yomda called Daytona Entertainment in late 2020. Here, the goal of this label isn't to establish an overall image for the label that the artists are supposed to match, nor to move as a crew like most hip-hop labels. Rather than that, they sign various artists and let them show their own colors without any label restrictions. The Daytona crew will not hold group concerts nor release group songs unlike Illionaire or Ambition Music. The artists are meant to be cherished for their uniqueness and not for being part of a collective. Currently artists under the label are Futuristic Sraver, Mellow, Brady Street, Skinny Brown and Toil. As one of the godfathers of Korean hip-hop, The Quiet paved the way for today's hip-hop scene in Korea. He started with nothing and through his passion for music, he worked his way up to the top, establishing himself as a name that simply has to be mentioned if you want to talk about Korean hip-hop. While he grew more and more famous with multiple album releases and new labels, he never failed to lift others up and help both young and old artists to further their career. Thank you for tuning in to the evolution of the quiet. We hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure to leave us a like and a comment. And if you want to support us a little bit more, check out our Patreon down in the description. Until next time, see ya.